love going up to the moon. Did you feel closer to God when you were up there? The exhaust from the shuttle, is it clean or dirty? Like Earth, but in space, so there it wouldn't be as crowded on Earth because the population is multiplying every day. The stars, and I like to see them, and I like Halley's Comet. Well, if there's a nuclear war, it might be necessary to find other inhabitable planets because um, of the effects of radiation is going to ruin life as we know it on this planet, so it would be inevitable to live somewhere else. Our opponents began this campaign hoping that America has a poor memory. Well, let's take them on a little stroll down memory lane. The presidential campaign of 1984. Ronald Reagan is beginning the fourth year of his feel-good presidency. And he is running again, not as a politician, but as a crusader for his cause. Two different visions of the future. Two fundamentally different ways of governing. The government of the United States is not up for sale. It belongs to the people of this country, and we want it back. So Mondale thinks that his opportunity depends on forcing people to look beyond the image, to look beyond Mr. Reagan as a nice guy, and to focus instead on specific issues. Mondale's promising campaign has lined up a host of coveted endorsements. The National Education Association. I will lead a renaissance of education education, of learning, of science and training. The big national teacher unions have endorsed Walter Mondale, but President Reagan hasn't given up on the teacher vote. Today I'm directing NASA to begin a search and to choose as the first citizen pastor, passenger in the history of our space program, one of America's finest, a teacher. I think that's just been arranged. Voters again choose Ronald Reagan in a landslide to continue his business as president. I teach American history to 11th and 12th graders. Now, all of a sudden, you are a national personage. You're in the news all the time. <laughs> Has it been more than you're able to handle? Has it been what you thought it would be? Have the demands on your time been... Well, right now, my family has been so supportive, and both of my children are so excited about this. I think it's going to be a real positive experience for everybody. The odds started out one in 10,000 that Krista McAuliffe would be picked as the first teacher in space. <laughs> Mr. McAuliffe, it is a dream come true. <laughs> and if for any reason the winner can't make it to the space shuttle flight in January, an alternate was named too. The first substitute teacher in space. Now, if we were up there, we would already see the uh, sparks going. Well, no, it's six no, they do six. it, six. But the water comes out, I think, before then, before Jack, the sparks.
Now, Juliana, what about you? What would you hope to see if you went up there? Some planets and definitely a shooting star. Ooh, that would be great. How about you, Tammy? I'd like to see the planets and especially the moon and just look around. <laughs> just look around while you're up there. Well, I think we're going to have to live the experience through Krista McAuliffe. You have about 20 or 30 seconds of weightlessness, and all of a sudden, just like Peter Pan, you start flying up, and it was just unbelievable. That's the enthusiasm that's made her a favorite of students at Concord High School in New Hampshire.